Hey guys, this is Joe. I actually have a fun little project today. That's a quick little project that uh, anyone can do on a bandsaw. And I actually was inspired by actually was inspired by Steve from uh, Woodworking for Man Models. The guy Steve, he's really fun. Check out his videos. Um, he's a really nice guy and uh, does a lot of fun projects. Um, he actually inspired me. Uh, inspired by I never actually attempted to do a bandsaw box. Um, I don't, for whatever reason, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why. Maybe. Uh, maybe I just um, didn't interest me. Uh, it's you don't really need a lot of material. You can use scrap wood around the shop or garage um, or inexpensive wood. What I'm doing basically is I, I have a let me show you. I have um, some scraps of mahogany that I had laying around a couple of chunks. And, um, you know, I've been waiting to use it on a certain project, but. I didn't know what project, so I think this is fitting that I use it on a bandsaw box. Um, what I've done was I cut this in half to give me two pieces, and I have some um, ebony that I've had laying around for a long time to do with, so I'll use it on this project also. Um, and my plan is basically is to, um, you know, to make uh, to make this box thicker. Um, I'm gonna, you know, edge glue um, the two ebony pieces like that, edge glue them and then sandwich them in the uh, mahogany sandwich there big sandwich and glue it all up that'll give me a nice contrasting stripe right down the middle of that sandwich all right here is the glued up piece it's all dried here is the the uh, design that i took off the internet spray adhesive right there to adhere it to the piece so i can put it on my bandsaw okay and stick it on. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut this rough shape out on my bandsaw. Just like that. I've been woodworking for a long time now and I never actually attempted to do a bandsaw box. Okay, what I've done, I went ahead and um, there's, I actually started it and I kind of screwed up on it actually. I screwed up um, and you'll see in a minute what I did. Um, I actually started to bandsaw the actual drawer, but I forgot to, and a very important piece of the puzzle is when you want to carve out something on the bandsaw you actually have to take the back half off right here and take the front off you know bandsaw out your box and then glue glue it back together I didn't do that it's okay I got like a step or two ahead of myself and this is what I ended up with right here um, it's not awful I'll just work around it um, so what I did was I actually well before you bandsaw, you actually have to make sure that you have a true 90, a flat surface, and a flat surface. I didn't do that because I figured, well, I'm going to bandsaw the shape out anyway. Why do I have to make sure I have a flat surface? Well, in order to have a back to the bandsaw, um, in, in other words, you want a backstop, you want a back. So you have to actually cut about an eighth of an inch off the back, put that aside, and then bandsaw your shape. I didn't do that, so now what I have is I have a, well, it's a pretty cool effect. Um, you'll have something like this action going on with it. That's okay. So what I did was I left that like it was, and I actually did, um, on my table saw, I cut off a piece about an eighth of an inch. That way it provides a, once I, once I start being on the, the box shapes out, it'll act as a, you know, I, I'll glue this back on, it'll act as a back. Um, not a big deal, a little screw up. Like I said, I've never done a bandsaw box before. You have this business going on. Not too bad. Now my ebony centerpiece is no longer in the center. But again, I'll say I meant to do it. So anyway, it's not it's not ruined. I can still work around it. So anyway, what I'm going to be doing now is I am going to finish um, cutting out the boxes and uh, shaping them with the bandsaw. And I uh, will take it from there. I have this business going on. Not too bad. All right, I'm going to start removing the other two boxes. I'll just get the fence out of the way. Ooh, that 
that's nice. I like that. Here we go. It's a rough sawing. Um, a lot of sanding. All right, here we go. This is what we have. Um, we got three independent pieces right there that move. Um, be, be amazed how light it is now. Now that I cut all the excess off. Um, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the draw drawers. I'm going to cut about an eighth of, the, eighth of an inch over there, eighth of an inch over there to put those aside and then come out the draw on the bandsaw and then glue everything back up. Pretty, isn't she? Ooh, nice, nice. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, it's not perfect. My first bandsaw box. I screwed up. Things that you were, remember those things as a kid used to bounce on? Were they the silly worms or something? That's what that looks like. Okay, well, I decided to, in keeping with the design of the piece, not to cut straight lines. And you're going to say, well, maybe you got a little crazy in the bandsaw. No, I decided to kind of make them wavy a little bit. That way, um, it kind of keeps in the same, you know, stays in the same theme of this of this kind of crazy looking box over here. So orientation is key here. That's why I put everything back in the box. Let me just take these off over here. And now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start cutting out the actual box. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Okay, um, I just did one draw and you can see what I basically did. I just freehanded a shape over there and uh, you know, you can just take that out like that, get rid of that. And here you have, you put the top on, right? and you put the back on, oh. and well you get, you get where I'm going with this, and there you go, there's your drawer, pretty simple, I like that, looks like Santa Slay, doesn't it? Um, here we go, there's the three boxes, they're just going to glue these up now, and I, check this out, I really like the way this one came out, this one came out pretty cool, again I'm freehanding everything, so look at those curves, I like that, it's pretty cool. Oh, pretty cool. There you go. Not too bad, huh? Again, it still looks like Santa's sleigh. And there's the rest of the junk over there. See that? Um, there we go. A lot of sanding. Whoa. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue everything up. And I'm going to let it set overnight because I'm just, I'm bored. I'm bored with the, the loud noise of the bandsaw. <laughs> so I'm going to glue everything up and call it a night and uh, maybe go watch some uh, Red Sox. Um, so there you go. Whoa. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Okay, here we go. I'm uh, right in the middle of just finishing the box and I actually sanded it down and I'm using some tongue oil uh, for a finish and I'm doing the last box. I, as you can see, I sanded everything down, put some little ebony knobs on there, draw poles, if you will. I'm using about two or three coats of tongue oil. Um, this should do it. Um, I really like the uh, the way that ebony pops out of there with the mahogany. It looks really nice. And I'm just using a soft cloth to rub it on. And that's pretty much it. All right, here we go. This is the completed project. And um, there are a few considerations to keep in mind. I've learned during the process of building this. Um, when you're bandsawing, um, you want to pay close attention to what you're doing on the inside cuts because um, you have a tendency when you're cutting on the bandsaw, you want to pull out a little bit and go in just to get the curve that you want. If you do that, it obviously makes the curve cut a lot wider and that doesn't really coincide with a bandsaw box. As you can see, I have a lot of available space in there. Um, yeah, it was a goofy little video, but uh, it was fun doing, so um, please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Now, what can I put in these boxes? I have no idea.